Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today, we're going to take a look at custom pages, and we're going to do a really super simple example of how to use a custom page. So this is if you have really never used a custom page before, and you're starting to hear all about them. And uh, I was at the Microsoft Power Platform conference uh, a couple of weeks ago in Orlando, and there was there was a lot of talk about custom pages and especially PowerFX, because the PowerFX language that has come from Canvas apps is really uh, being used all over the place now in the Power Platform. And it's a really good language to learn uh, if you're a Power Apps developer, okay? And we're gonna, we'll talk about that in future videos as well. But today what we're gonna focus on is, if, let's say you're a model-driven apps developer, and you want some power off Canvas apps in your model-driven app. So maybe you're doing something within the model-driven app and you've hit some limitations in terms of uh, how you actually want to implement something. So model-driven apps can be a little bit restrictive in certain areas. And so now you're looking to branch out and you can see that the Canvas apps actually can, can do what you need your model-driven app to do. And really the custom page is the middle ground here. So this is the custom, custom pages are really about being able to use the Canvas apps functionality inside of a model-driven app, okay? So let's go ahead and do a simple example. And again, I'm saying super, super simple because what I wanna do is just this base video for this and then we'll branch out uh, in the future in terms of how to uh, do some cooler stuff with the can with the custom pages inside of model driven apps. So I wrote a blog about this. Uh, you can go and check it out here. This is the blog. Um, but we're going to go through the steps here. And where you'll want to start is the Power Apps Maker. And what we'll do is we have the Sales Hub app here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this. And I'm just going to go and click Edit here. Okay. And so this is going to take us into the Modern App Designer. And uh, for those of us that have been around through the throughout the years doing uh, D365 type implementations and stuff and using the, the, the older way of, uh, of developing these apps, this is really refreshing and nice. And so we're gonna go here into this and then we'll go into, we can see we're brought to pages here, right? So here's all the pages. And what we'll do is we'll just add a page to this app. And don't forget, you don't have to use the Sales Hub app for this. You can uh, use your own custom app. You could create a new app, whatever you want to do there. So here we have the option of which type of page to add. We have the we have tables, we have a dashboard, and we have custom. So custom is the one we want. Let's go ahead and click next. And here we have the option to create a new custom page, or if we do have an existing one, it would show up in the list here, and then we could just go ahead and select that. Okay. So I'm going to create a new custom page. And let's just go and call this new custom page. And, we'll, and we can see here it says uh, showing navigation is automatically checked here. We can't uncheck that at this point. We're just gonna go ahead and click add, okay? So now it's going to uh, create that custom page in the background. And you can see here it's taken us over to the app designer, right? And you can see here, this is, you know, this is basically the Canvas apps designer, okay? Um, but we have here uh, the, the new custom page that we're creating. And we have all of the things down here on the left that we would expect in terms of building these apps. And I'm just gonna do something really crazy simple. I'm just gonna throw a label on here. And let's just do a, uh, for the text for the label, we're just gonna call this Hello World, okay? So that's our text. And let's go ahead and just make this a little bit bigger here. And we'll increase the font size to, let's say, let's make it even bigger than this. Let's make it 50. Okay, so there's our label and we're all set, ready to go. I'm gonna go here up in the top right. We're gonna save this here. We'll just click save here. And once that's saved, we're gonna go and publish it and then it will be available for us to use. Okay, so it says the custom page has saved successfully. I'm gonna click dismiss here. And let's go ahead over here and click publish, okay? So now that's publishing the custom page. And it says here, this version will be published in this environment here. And we have the name, the icon, that's all good. I'm gonna click publish this version. So now let's go ahead and go back over to our uh, app designer here. 
And we can see here that uh, we have this new navigation menu item here. And we do have the message here, this app needs to be republished again. So I'm gonna go and click publish here. And it's just gonna go ahead and publish this uh, on this side. And once that's complete, we'll go ahead and play the app and then we'll be able to see our custom page actually embedded inside this model-driven app. Okay, so that's been published. Let's go ahead and click the play button here. So that's taking us into the actual model-driven app. And you can see here that the navigation item does not appear uh, straight away. Let's just go ahead and click refresh here. And now we do have the menu item, right? So that's just the first time we're doing it. Uh, but if we click on this, uh, this new link here, the new custom page, there is our hello world. And so our custom page is actually running inside the model driven app now. And that's basically all we have to do to get it to work in there. So uh, I'm just gonna pop back over to the designer here and you could kind of just, just to get an idea of what's possible, uh, you know, what we'll be doing in future videos is basically connecting data uh, here into, into this custom page. And then we'll be adding all kinds of cool controls and you can imagine building up this app on this side and then having it being available to users within the model-driven app here. And we'll talk about how to connect the model-driven app to the actual custom page. So we're passing data uh, contextually into the, the custom page as well. And let's go through a scenario where we change uh, or you know what we'll do? We'll add a button to the account entity to the form and we'll do, uh, we'll perform an action when that button's pressed, okay? So I'm gonna select these three dots here next to account and I'm gonna go to edit the command bar and that's gonna open up the uh, modern experience to edit the command bar here. And we have the four options here. We can, uh, and, and you can see here when you click on each of these, like uh, this says main grid selected and it's actually showing the top here, right? So this is the, the, the top grid that they're talking about. Uh, you can also, if you select on main form here, uh, now we're getting the, the buttons on a form. If you select the subgrid view, those are the buttons on a subgrid. And then there's the associated view here that you can uh, customize, right? So we're gonna go with main form here. So when they actually open up an account record, this is the, uh, these are the buttons that we're going to customize. So I'm gonna click on edit here and this is going to display all of the buttons available on that main form. And so we can see the buttons here. So what I'm going to do is click on new and new command here. And now we get this option for uh, creating the button. And so historically, obviously when you were uh, dealing with buttons, you were able to add some JavaScript code. So when the, but when the user clicked on the button, the this JavaScript would be invoked. And uh, so this part here, which is the new part, is actually being able to call PowerFX from uh, uh, when these buttons are called. So uh, let's go ahead and select PowerFX and we'll click continue. And you can see it does say certain limitations apply. And that's one of those things where, you know, we would hope and expect that over time uh, more functionality is added to PowerFX and uh, these limitations are basically reduced uh, so that there's no more limitations left, right? So there's our new command here and um, we can go ahead and define the label here. So for this particular action, I'm going to, what we'll do is we'll actually go and navigate to a new custom page that I created uh, in another video. So we'll, we'll call this open custom page. And here we can define the icon and I'm gonna say use icon here. And then obviously there's uh, so many icons that I can select here. And I'm just gonna click this add one, right? Um, just, just for the sake of this demo. So we have this here and then uh, here is the action. We're gonna run formula. And uh, we also have the option for run JavaScript instead, but I'm gonna go with formula and click here, open the formula bar. And it just takes us over here to the formula bar here. And so now on the on select of this clicking of this button, what we wanna do is we wanna navigate. So you can see actually, if I just start to type like this, new custom page like this, now it's found it and I can select it and it's basically selected here, okay? 
And if I just delete this and I can kind of show you like if you, if I just hit a single quote and then just hit the uh, control space on the keyboard, it brings up all of the, uh, the selections that I can use here. And if I type in new, you can see it's found it this way as well, right? So I can do that and close this out and we're good. Uh, now in the top right, I'm gonna go and save and publish. So that's published. So now if I, could, if I go back over to the app, let's go ahead and we'll just play this app. I can actually do it from here. So if I hit play uh, this way, so now it's opening up the Sales Hub app. And what we uh, see is like, uh, what I'm gonna do is go to accounts here and we'll open up an account and we should get the new code coming through, the new button and we may need to refresh. So it actually says here, a new version of this app's available. Please refresh to update. So I'm gonna hit the refresh button. That'll pull down the latest app. And now if I go into the accounts, we see here the uh, open custom page button, okay? So the before I click that, the this is the new custom page button that we created earlier, the navigation item, and and that would take you over to the, to the, to the same place that we're gonna to get to when we click on this one, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click this and you can see here now it's taken us over to this new custom page button, right? To the, sorry, to the custom page. So, so that's all you gotta do um, in order to wire up a button to, to do some PowerFX and, in this, and you can do many things with that PowerFX, uh, but in this case we're, getting, we're taking the user over to the new custom page. Hope you guys enjoyed. So that's it guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.